Welcome guys to the third tutorial of Atmega 16 and in this tutorial we will learn about the ports of Atmega 16 and their respective resistors and we will also learn that how we can configure a port as an input or output and in this tutorial we will write a very first program for writing a value to the port of Atmega 16 so let's start with the ports and their respective resistors the 8 mega 16 is a 40 pin IC and we have four ports for 8 mega 16 port A port B port C and port D all the ports are 8 bit ports and bidirectional with multiple functions on them if we are dealing with port A so the respective resistor will be port A then DDR A and pin A or if we are dealing with port C then the respective resistors will be port C DDR C and pin C so Port A is a resistor to write the value to the port. DDR A is the resistor to define the direction of the port. Pin is the resistor for port to read the value from the port. So for every port of the Atmega 16, we have three resistors, port X, DDR X and pin X. The very first step to access a port as an input or output, we have to first configure the DDRX resistor of the corresponding port. So if we are writing a 0 to DDRX resistor, that means we will configure that port pin as an input. Or if we are writing 1 to the DDRX resistor, we are configuring the port pin as an output. The next step is, if we consider the port as an output, then we have to write the value to port. So if we are writing the value to port, we have to use the port X resistor like port A, port B, port C or port D to write the value to the port. Or if we configured the port as an input, we must use the pin X resistor to read the value from the port. To get the more information related to that mega 16, you must download the datasheet of at mega 16. And if you go to input output port section, there is the description of every input output port resistor now let's move to the compiler side open the micro c pro for avr and we will create our first program to write a value to a port of at mega 16 so when i open the micro c pro for avr you can see one is the start page and one led blinking dot c program is open so first of all if you don't want to show the start page on every startup you can uncheck this box and you can cancel this first page now this is the program already opened in the micro c compiler to close this program go to project and click on close project now we are ready to create a first project for at mega 16 for that go to project click on new project and this new project wizard will open click on next and here you have to select the controller, the clock, the path of the folder and the name of the project. So first I will give a name to my project like port test because I will go for a port test for output. So I will go for the desktop and the port test folder on the desktop as my destination folder. Device name must be at mega 16. So scroll down to at mega 16 and select that controller. For my tutorials, I will use a 16 megahertz clock source, so I will type 16 here. Click on next and the second step is not required, leave it as it is and click on next. On step 3, the default option is include all libraries but it is not required, so click on include none and click next and click on finish. The font size of the editor is very small. I will first increase the font size. For that go to tools then options and click on editor and editor settings. Here you will open the open option dialog and here is the editor font. So click on the font and here I will select the font size as 24 or 22. Click OK. OK and click on apply and ok now the font size is changed now when we create a new project in micro c pro for avr by default it will provide this void main function to us so the void main function is the main function of our program we will write all the instructions inside this main program go to project and click on edit project 
So these are some of the configurations of Atmega 16 which we have to select. But for now just make sure that your clock setting is set for external crystal resonator high frequency and fast startup. I will use this setting and uh, other settings are default for this edit project wizard. So click on OK. Now we are ready to write a program for Atmega 16 but first I want to discuss the Proteus ISIS and uh, we will place a model of Atmega 16 for simulation in the Proteus. Click on this component mode tool and then click on P and this P is for pick from libraries and type the name of controller at mega 16. So to add this at mega 16 to the device list just double click on it and it will be added to the device list. Now click on OK. Select that mega 16 package and place it on the screen. These two pins are for external crystal or resonator which is not required for simulation. The ninth pin of the Atmega 16 is a reset pin and this is an active low signal. So whenever you provide a low signal to this reset pin, the microcontroller will be resetted and it will start the execution of program from very beginning. So for this signal, I will connect a 5 volt supply. For that, go to terminals mode and select power and place it to near to the pin number 9 and connect to the pin number 9. AVCC and AREF, these two pins are for ADC, VCC and ADC reference. For now, just connect a 5 volt supply to these two pins. You can save this simulation design by clicking on file and click on save design. And I will save the design in the same folder as my project program. Now to run the simulation, you have to click on this play button. And when you click on this play button, you will probably get these two errors. AVR program property is not defined and the real time simulation failed to start. First, we have to create a program in micro C compiler. So let's move to the compiler side. As I told you, we are going to write a value to any port of the Atmega 16. For that, you have to type the name of port like port B is equal to 0x00. Now this 0x means the hex value. If you write just 00 or 0, this will be the decimal value. So I will go for hex value 0x00. But before writing the value to port, we must configure the port for input or output. So we have DDRB resistor for port B. So DDRB is equal to 0xff so it will configure all the port b pins as an output and to generate the hex file you can go to build and you can click on build and the shortcut is control f9 and this will start the compilation process and after the compilation if you get this message your project finished successfully that means your hex file is generated successfully uh, let's open the project folder this is my project folder and you can see this is the hex file generated for my code after the compilation. Now we have to assign this hex file to the simulation model. Let's see how we can do this. Open the Proteus ISIS. Now this is the model of Atmega 16. Double click on it and you will see this option program file. So we have to assign a path for hex file to this program file. For that click on this folder icon and you can see this is port test.hex click on it and open now the clock for this simulation model is set for internal rc1 megahertz so we have to change it to external crystal high frequency select this option we have to define the value of frequency here so i'm using a 16 megahertz crystal so i will type 16 mhz 16 megahertz and click on OK. Now we are ready to run the simulation. Click on play button and our simulation is running now. You can see port B all the pins are marked with blue color and this blue color means all the pins are zero. The red color is for high signal or 5 volt signal and the gray color is for a tri-stage signal which is neither high nor low. So I just write 0 to entire port B 
let's change the value for port B in the program for that first stop the simulation go back to the compiler and here you can change the value if I write 0x ff then again go to build and build the program to recompile the program go back to the Proteus simulator and click on the play button to run the simulation again now you can see the status of port B is changed to all pins high so guys I hope you understand this very basic concept to configure a port of Atmega 16 for an output and you can try with the other ports of Atmega 16 we will proceed further in next video tutorial so stay in contact don't forget to subscribe the channel and thanks for watching